There are lots of reasons why you might want to use the remote workflow editor. For example, build or edit a workflow on the server because the workflow, together with the data, is too big to copy to your local hardware. Or you've built a workflow using a local big data environment, and now you want to move it to the server and connect it to the big data environment, which are both behind the same firewall. Or you just want to get a live update of the progress of a long-running job on the server by having a look at it in real time. Or maybe you want to execute and edit a workflow step by step on the server because the server hardware is more powerful than your local hardware. The solution for all these situations is the NIME Remote Workflow Editor. To use it, you need to install the Remote Workflow Editor extension. The video link below shows you how to install extensions. There are two ways to access and use the Remote Workflow Editor. One way is to start a new job on the server, and the second one is to investigate jobs already created. We can start a new job in the Remote Workflow Editor by right-clicking a workflow that's on NIME server and selecting Open and as New Job on Server. The opened workflow job looks like a local workflow in the editor, apart from the fact that it's labelled and the canvas has a watermark to help identify that the workflow is running on NIME server. We can now execute the workflow stepwise, change node preferences, add or delete nodes and so on. For example, we can change the table reader node to read another table and browse through the datasets available on the server. After executing the workflow, we can check the results by having a look at the output data tables, JavaScript views and composite views. You see, you can use the Remote Workflow Editor in the same way as NIME Analytics Platform for a local workflow, and you have almost full edit capabilities on the server. To save the changes, we can save the job as a workflow by right-clicking the job and selecting Save as Workflow. Let's now have a look at how we can investigate jobs that are already created. Here in the NIME Explorer, I have a job that failed and I want to see why it failed. To open the Remote Workflow Editor, you can either right-click the job and select Open and Job, or just double-click. The Remote Workflow Editor shows the error and warning messages in the workflow by mouse over on the respective sign. I can quickly fix the problem by changing some settings in the configuration window. I fixed the incorrect setting and can execute the job on the server. Some jobs on the server can't be edited. Let's have a look at this job, which is currently running. Here the background is grey instead of white, showing us that edit operations are not allowed. This can be for different reasons, which are specified in the yellow warning box. In this case, it's because the workflow was executed via the web portal. Other reasons could be that the edit operation is disabled in the preferences or the server is not responding, for example because the server is overloaded or the connection is lost. Now it's on to you to check your running jobs on the server.